let me introduce you to the next tree. This dead specimen here that completely leans onto the neighbor's property. Uh, full of holes, kind of rotten. I banged it a bit. It didn't feel too bad. Uh, so we'll see. Give it a little climb, see how rotten it is. Uh, we've got two stems, bad split right here. This will be my drop zone. Anchor up above. You can see I've got the two stems. Working this stem first, and then I'll transfer over here. All right, so we got the sling out about halfway. Yeah, third of the way, kind of in the center. And it's on a loop. That way I can um, pull the line through eventually. And then I've got a friction carabiner carabiner. So kind of like a three point system, one, two, three. Well, kind of four. So it should go down slow. I'll try to cut it down sort of low and I'll just tie it off over here so I don't have to worry about it. And it's gonna fall and probably hit that crotch there. But either way, I should be able to lower it, sort of. Every tree have to be right over a fence. Okay, you want to know the setup, maybe. Um, I've got a crotch up there. That's on the silver maple that's just alive and nice. So that's my crotch. That's like an SRT. It is linked down there at the bottom, tied onto the base of the trunk. Uh, that's my line right now. I might switch it over and use it as a rigging line. And then I'm just working up. Uh, this guy's pretty much gone. I guess I can take that off. And I'm working up the next stem. And then I've got one more. That's kind of the big one. And the leaner over Yield Neighbor's Garage.
There we go, come on. Oh, that was good. Ah. Okay, hold, hold. This goes here. That's a good place for it. Okay. Nice. Yeah, all right, then this guy. Okay, come on. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, take your saw with you. It's just a good idea. And I think I'll stay rigged on there for now. Creative. We got the washer just popping out the back of the garage, water in the lawn, a little recycling going on. I like it. Alright, here's where I'm at. Uh, this stem is pretty much toast, and I've still got my top rope there so I can conquer the old overhanger. Okay, three. It's gonna end up right here in this area. Nice. It never feels nice when that happens, but it's kind of perfect. All right, so now, because I've got this on my beaner, I'll be able to retrieve the line. Mm -hmm. I lower it. Come on. There we go. Nice. Right in the pile. That was nine too shabby.
right, update. Those are done. Trap zone's going pretty good. Trap zone B, not bad. Tie up, pointing the maple over to me, and what am I doing? Dealing with the last couple stems. There we go. Got my V lanyards, got my top, and I can start taking these guys down. Kind of over the drop zone still, so that's good. Okay, come on. Let's get a good spot. Somehow that worked out. There's a little plinko. This is the last of the of the action. This is the last of the action. Here we go. Nice. And give it the old lower down. That's kind of a shitty spot to lower it. Maybe I'll swing it. See, this one's kind of a little too over the garage, so I think I can swing it back this way. Yeah. Yeah. Rope recovery. Oh, look at that. That was the last of my slings.
that is it for that tree. Uh, thanks for checking it out. You can see I got a full trailer, so all I gotta do is dump it off and that'll be done. Check in the next video.